Losing a friend, Rarity never thought it would have hurt so much. But one must feel pain in order to know they're alive, right? It had been a few days after the funeral, and she felt as if she had become a broken shell of her former self. Every pony in Ponyville had gathered to pay their respects to the mare that had saved them from time to time. But now, that mare was gone, lost forever to the void. The young 23-year-old mare, having burned alive in her cottage along with 10 of her beloved pets. It was so tragic and heartbreaking for Rarity to lose her dearest friend in such a blazing inferno. But there wasn't anything that could have been done. When Rainbow and the other fire ponies arrived on the scene, the cottage was already a flaming wreckage on the ground. No matter how hard they tried, the building was gone, turned to ashes and rubble. Rarity had never seen Rainbow cry so hard in her life. They had all cried that day, their hearts broken and torn, as if some pony took a hot knife and shredded them to pieces. Pinkie Pie's mane had remained droopy for days, and couldn't find it in her heart to smile. Rainbow had locked herself in her home, refusing to come out. Twilight had been similarly locked in her library, not coming out even for the princesses. However, Spike remained with her through it all, like the loyal assistant he was. And Applejack had been busying herself with her apple bucking. She had not said one word since the day they had buried their poor friend in the ground, or at least what was left of her. Rarity had busied herself in the boutique. She didn't do much, still mourning over the loss of Fluttershy. Unable to come up with any designs, no pony had ordered anything, and Rarity was left to sulk in the darkness of her room. For she had not just lost Fluttershy. Opalescence had been with Fluttershy that day as well. In only a short time, Rarity had lost her beloved pet, and a dear friend. <sighs> a sigh escaped her as she got up from her bed and trotted out of her room, down the staircase. She still remembered the time she had with Fluttershy at the spa. Just that last week, they had went there and got a special. Of course, Fluttershy never needed to do anything special to make herself look good, and Rarity was always envious of her looks. However, Rarity never dared to say a word of it to her. It was never her intention of making Fluttershy feel like she was stealing the spotlight or any such thing. The days they spent together were some that she always enjoyed. Sure. Rarity loved spending time with her other friends, but Fluttershy and her were always closer. Whether it was the spa trips or their occasional get-togethers, those memories would remain with Rarity, and she would cherish them always. She eventually reached the door leading to the basement and proceeded to opening it with a flourish of magic. After grabbing a spare lantern, she descended into the darkness, closing and locking the door behind her. Dear me, Fluttershy would be so scared if she had come down here in the dark. She mused, walking down the steps slowly. Fluttershy was such a frail pony scared of her own shadow. Rarity would have loved to help her with her timidness, but that was a quality about her that Rarity admired. She was always so careful 
and methodical in everything that she did. From eating to walking down the street, she could even be dainty without even breaking a sweat. While ponies like Rarity herself worked for years to become who she was now. And Fluttershy did absolutely nothing except live. <sighs> Another sigh escaped Rarity as she hit the bottom step. The darkness of the basement evaporating as the lantern's light burned them away. The dark snaky tendrils of shadows retreated into the void. Down here is where Rarity kept her spare ponykins, all lined up in perfection, sitting on their pedestals awaiting the day that she would bring them into the light and dress them up in her latest work. She only had four as of now, and would need to get more soon. Trotting over to her desk, she placed her lantern down and turned to her ponykins. Fluttershy was so scared of these as well. <laughs> that was true, but then again, Fluttershy was scared of everything, whether it had a pulse or not. The only thing she wasn't scared of was her animals. Rarity had even seen her wrestle a bear once. Quite a feat for a pony of such feeble strength and a timid heart. Oh, I wish I could talk to her. She trotted up to one of the ponykins. They were all of different sizes, as a way to accommodate the different body types and such. Oh, Fluttershy. I wish that fire had never happened. She muttered, staring into the blank face of the ponykin. Another look at it reminded her of Fluttershy. Her body was always so perfect in every way. The elegant curves, the perfectly shaped flanks, and the wonderfully styled mane and tail. Oh... You are so beautiful, I dare say. Did I have a crush on you, Fluttershy? What do you think? She asked the ponykin, stroking its chin lovingly as she draped a hoof across its back. Then suddenly, a sound caressed her ears. Oh, I know, darling. It must be so lonely down here. But you have your friends with you. There's Miss Colgate. She was such a lovely mare. Died from drowning, can you believe that? Then there's Brayburn. He was killed by some rogue buffalo, the poor dear. And then we have sweet little Twist. You remember the poor dear? She was kidnapped by diamond dogs, never to be seen again. Though I'm afraid she's gone quiet. It's been a month since I added her to my collection. She's not as lively as she used to be. Then there's you, Fluttershy. I added you because I could not stand to lose you. You were so badly burned when I found you, but, but I, I saved you. Yes, yes, I saved you from death. You'll be a part of my collection for years, Fluttershy. Your beautiful body and wonderful style forever gracing my shop. Do you know how I did it? Well, I learned this spell from an old friend of mine. He's actually up in the shop right now wearing one of my tuxedos. He has been for the last three years, I believe. Oh, he is such a darling. He taught me this spell so that I would know how to counteract it. I found a new use for it, actually. You see, ponykins are so expensive nowadays. Then I figured, why buy them when I can make them? <laughs> A genius plan if I do say so myself. All of the ponykins upstairs, they're all ponies who agreed, well, volunteered to model my latest works over the years. They're all such generous souls, at least. I think at least a quarter of them are still alive. 
I'm not sure. Don't worry, Fluttershy, darling. You won't be alone forever. I'll go and get you some new friends. <laughs> I'll go and get more to add to Rarity's collection. She turned, staring down at the floor with her crystal blue eyes, after admiring her collection with a gaze of amusement. Rarity gave her dear Fluttershy a hug for one last time. You will be the star of my newest ensemble. It is named after you, Fluttershy. Do you like it? Nothing. Well, my dears, I'll be back soon. I have had my eye on Scootaloo for quite some time. Did you know the poor dear has no parents? I say, I don't believe any pony would miss her right away. The Everfree is dangerous this time of year, I believe. It would be a shame if she got lost in there, wouldn't it? She will make an excellent addition to my new line. She will be forever beautiful. With a smile, she trotted over to the stairs and ascended to the floor above. <laughs>